My name is Liam Johnson and we're on Salt Spring Island and this is kind of like a secret beach right down the road where we live. And as you can see, there's a lot of driftwood. I've collected probably hundreds of pieces off this beach. And my background is woodworking and I've been specializing in making cribbage boards from found and reused materials, mainly off of the beach. There's a lot of rules to it. It's a game that was invented in the 1700s. Uh, it's just really fun, you know. It can be very competitive. Uh, some people play it very seriously where you can steal points from the other person. I personally don't like doing like that. I like to be more laid back. I like to give people points, give them a chance to, you know, uh, collect themselves. For me, it's all about the hunt. Coming to the beach, looking for wood, looking for specific sizes, the condition's really important too. Can't be too rotten or anything. Usually when I'm on the beach, I can just, I can tell. I can vision the cribbage board in the wood. So I bring them home and then the sculpting would begin. So I'd get like a, a grinder with a big sanding disc, sculpt it down. And then what I do next would be um, making a grid just with a pen and a ruler. I bring to the drill press, drill it, sand it down, make it nice and smooth. Then I get the wood burner and I just make engravings in the board and then um, oil them, tongue oil, let that dry. And as they're drying, then I can go get the pegs. I think for sure it helps me connect. And I think this goes back to my childhood. And I just remember camping a lot with my family and we'd always be on the beach and I'd just be making lots of forts out of driftwood. He had a little pocket knife, I'd always be kind of, you know, carving something. So it has a lot of those memories in it as well. And my dad, he was really into collecting driftwood and using it because he's a carpenter. And so for me, it really connects me to the earth. And it's, I would say it's not even really a choice of mine that I would start this. It kind of happened naturally. I guess deep down I wanted to be able to use driftwood as a means to live. So what once was washed ashore and just would just decompose, you know, you turn it into a nice functional board game and that it becomes alive. I almost give it its essence back, its life, like a new purpose. So for me, that's kind of the meaning behind what I do. I think art craft is really key here. And I feel like Artcraft really, they put a lot of effort into what they do and uh, curating artists and specializing artists and really bringing artists together. 